Hello YouTube and welcome to another video. This is a continuation from the last video where BJ and I were out riding in some very cold water. The date is November 22nd and where the last video left off we had decided to go down and try to find the edge of the ice in the water. That is right, the lake is partly frozen over and we're going to go down and try to find the edge of that ice. Stay tuned to see what happens because it's pretty amusing. They have the fun waves though. Yeah. Crazy. At some point, I want to try to find the edge of ice. That should be now then. We can just keep going down along the shore. It doesn't take that long. No, and that's what I mean. Like, now I'm like, I'm not like cold, I want to go home. Yeah. But if I get much colder, I'm not going to be like, hey, let's go down and find the ice. Yeah. If your hands get really cold, you can ride this for a while. It really warms them up. <laughs> This is a good time! <laughs> That's hilarious.
I rode up on the ice accidentally. Yeah. And I rode across it for the longest time and then I finally broke through and I couldn't get out. No, I got trapped like that over on the shore. Yeah. I was like watching you yeah. and then I looked up and I was like, oh man, that's ice. And I just clunk, clunk, <laughs> just across. And that's when I fell off. I was like, whoa, I can't. <laughs> I kept getting ice stuck in my pump and I couldn't get out. <laughs> kept like sucking it up. And... Woo! Toes are pretty cold now. You wanna put one of these things on and get some shots of you at this or? Might as well. I don't know if there's an easy way. Well, have to put a sticky pad on your helmet. I got one in my truck. Probably should. And then that'll be the last for this year. Yep. Now my toes are not bad, my fingers were pretty bad there. Your but what? now that I'm not in the wind, uh, they're fine. Ride that around a little bit. Actually, you probably shouldn't ride it because then you'll be spoiled for it. It's my throttle finger. Oh. The rest of my hands are fine. Yeah. It's just out there and the wind hits it. Yeah. I'm sure there are a few people who are concerned or annoyed about the fact that we're out in this cold water, especially the part where I'm splashing around with ice floating around me. But this just goes to show that if you have some really good equipment, you can ride in some ridiculous conditions. Even when I was swimming around with that ice all floating around me, I wasn't concerned whatsoever. I was perfectly comfortable. My toes were a little bit chilly, but uh, as a Canadian, that's nothing that I'm not used to. My core temperature was not dropping at all, and I could have stayed in there probably for hours. I was wearing my O'Neill wetsuit as well as my Jet Pilot wetsuit on over the top of that which means I had 6 millimeters through my core, I had 5 millimeter gloves, 5 millimeter hood and 5 millimeter booties. BJ on the other hand was only wearing his O'Neill wetsuit, 1.5 millimeter gloves and I think 5 millimeter booties as well, I'm not sure about that though. So he was a little bit chillier than I was. Still, both of us were able to make it through this okay. And uh, yeah, there... as you may have noticed at the end of this video, we were trying to get the camera mount on BJ's helmet. Unfortunately, his helmet has a ridge on the top of it and we couldn't get the spinning mount to stay on. So the mount went back on my helmet. Fortunately, there is more footage. And so that means there will be one more video to come. It does get a little bit more exciting, it gets dark, and it is the last riding footage that I will have of this year. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.